Hey everyone, it's the Cinema Dude, and I'm back here in my movie room for another weekly video. Uh, this week I decided we're going to do another collection video. I haven't done uh, one in a while, so I wanted to show uh, my Kino Lorber uh, collection. Uh, for those that don't know what uh, Kino Lorber, they are another boutique label. Uh, they're a little more of the mainstream one, uh, but they range anywhere from silent film to westerns, to film noir, to horror, to science fiction, um, to some classics. So they span a whole uh, genre of different stuff. So I uh, want to check them out. So let's look. So we're going to start right here. Uh, and I, again, I go in order based on like kind of the spine numbers at the bottom. And the first one here, we have The Old Dark House, uh, directed by James Whale, Universal Pictures. It uh, has Boris Karloff in it, kind of the quintessential haunted house film. Um, is Charles Lawton in this one? Yeah, Charles Lawton is in this as well. So there's some special features on this. I believe there is a Blu-ray of this out now, uh, but I got that one. Uh, then we have a silent film with Rudolf Valentino, Blood and Sand. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of... Um, supplements as well. Uh, that's the thing with Kino. They definitely put a lot of um, time and effort into their releases. Now, some might have less special features than others, but they all try to at least give you the best quality on them. Uh, next one is Diary of a Lost Girl by Louise Brooks, um, directed by uh, G.W. Uh, Pratt. A um, whole bunch of... Um, stuff right there as well um this one's kind of cool because louise brooke spent the um last half of her life here in rochester and um is actually buried at a local cemetery here uh then we have the cabin of dr calgary um again a monumental film in german expressionism and in just horror in general the Agalum, again another German expressionism movie. Waxworks. Uh, then we have a Tokyo Eyes, um, just a, a Japanese film from. You can see the special features on that too. This is from two thousand and three. Oh no, nineteen ninety nine. I'm sorry. DVDs from 2003. And then this really cool Edison um, invention of the movie set from the Museum of Modern Art. And there is a whole boatload of special features. A um, whole bunch of like his original um, films that he had, that, that company, the Edison company had put out. Um, so an awesome one if you are a collector of silent cinema. Uh, then we have She, the Marion C. Cooper production, um, kind of like the adventure kind of film, kind of science fiction-y, uh, Cat in the Canary, then Asian a Action Extreme, so four different kind of Yakuza and kind of um, triad type movies, uh, The Complete Metropolis, Fritz Lane's um, seminal um, science fiction film, what, you know, influenced a whole bunch of other stuff, Star Wars and things like that. Um, so this is the one that's a more complete one because it has um, more of the missing stuff that came to light on it. Then we have the Buster Keaton short films collection uh, from 22, or from 20 to 23. And um, this has, as you can see, a whole bunch of his short films. And then a whole bunch of special features as well. Um, this one is complement to the... I believe it's almost the exact same release as the Eureka one, but I think the Eureka one is a little bit better. Um, but for those that live um, that region A, this is the one that you'd be able to get, unless you're region free. Uh, Bella Lugosi and White Zombie. Another uh, kind of classic of horror. Then we have Blue Angel, filmed by um, Josef von Sternberg, 
with Marion Dietrich. Again, um, kind of cool one to have. Uh, Black Sabbath with Boris Karloff. Now, this one is... Um, this is the European cut. Um, there is two versions of this, I believe you can get. Um, so this is the European cut of it. Then the, uh, classic F.W. Murrow's Nosferatu. Again, a important film in horror and in German Expressionism. So that's an awesome one to have. Uh, To All Good Night, a 80s kind of slasher film. Uh, Burt Reynolds and Gator. And as you can see, like, this one has very basic, um, special features on it, but something like Nosferatu has, you know, a lot more. Uh, the Quarter Mass Experiment, Experiment, excuse me. Um, so this is the first of the Quarter Mass, uh, films, or Quarter Mass, I'm sorry. Uh, so... You have a whole bunch of stuff on that. I believe Shout Factory put the other two out. Uh, Monster Dog, another 80s horror movie. Savage Weekend, this one is from like 79. Another horror movie. Uh, Moana with Sound is from the director of um, Nanook of the North. Um, this was kind of their follow-up to... Um, that documentary kind of Haunted Honeymoon with Gene Wilder, Gilda Radner, and Dom DeLuise. Kind of a horror comedy. Uh, this awesome film noir box set. Um, this is probably one of my favorite ones that they've released. And it comes with... Uh, let me see. Uh, there you go. Witness of Murder, Storm, Fear, uh, Big House USA, He Ran a Night, and A Bolt for Joey. Um, this is the first set of, I believe they're up to four now. Um, really enjoy film noir. It's an awesome set to have. Then we have One Million Years B.C., the Hammer production uh, with Stop Motion by Ray Harryhausen. Uh, Beggars of Life, another Louise Brooks movie. Return of Sabata uh, with Lee Van Cleef. A um, spaghetti western. Rawhead Rex, the other 80s uh, film uh, that Clive Barker um, had a part of. So there's a whole bunch of special features. Uh, this one, again, it's um, it's pretty good. I, I enjoyed it for a horror movie. Um, I know Clive Barker hated it because the monster is kind of ridiculous and stuff. And it's different than what um, it's kind of envisioned in the novel. Uh, and then You Never Know Women, another silent film. And the Puppet Masters with Donald Sutherland, a kind of science fiction kind of film. And a whole bunch of stuff on there. And then the last three. This one is a pretty awesome, another awesome set. Um, this definitely goes along with the... Edison one, and that is Pioneers, First Women of Filmmakers. Um, this is highly recommended. Um, if you um, if you are a fan of cinema, want to see where kind of the beginnings of cinema, um, women's place in cinema, this is a awesome set to get. You get a whole boatload of different women directors, um, Alice Guy uh, let's see, you had... Um, Lois Weber, a whole bunch of stuff, and it is just chock full. I mean, if you look, it's 1,710 minutes of uh, shorts and stuff. So, uh, features, shorts, fragments, um, there's a booklet that comes with those. So, I highly recommend it. They have this one, and they have one that is of um, African American cinema as well, um, that is highly recommended. So, definitely um, someone that is a film a fan of film history and stuff definitely pick up this box uh and then the last two this is part of their redemption uh label is the um afax yeah, yeah i believe i'm probably butchering that how to say it but this one is a 
um, horror film from the 70s, yep. And this one is, they try to, like, capture a soul, but it's, like, you have to do it, like, right as somebody's dying and stuff. Um, and so the stuff that kind of goes around, it's kind of playing with God and stuff like that. And then Black Magic Rites, um, an Italian horror film as well. So, that is my uh, Kino uh, collection. I hope you guys have all enjoyed that. Um, comment below what your release is. Are there any that you have? Is there any um, that you recommend um, that I add? So, comment below. Um, and I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe. And remember, be kind and rewind. <laughs>